The nonprofits treasure, they hold a significant role. It's important for them to ensure the financial stability and longevity of the organization. So today we're gonna to take a closer look at the treasurer's role and responsibilities in the nonprofit. Hi, I'm Teresa Clark and I'm a CPA with over 25 years of experience working with nonprofits. I've worked inside the organizations as a CFO, I've started nonprofits and I've worked outside the organizations as an independent auditor. Uh, all of that has led to an incredible passion that I have to serve nonprofits and help them answer the money questions so that they can achieve their financial strength. Well, really, I think you can think of me as a strategic partner. I like to help you master the money. You can learn more about me at TeresaClark.com. The treasurer's responsibility really comes down to this one major thing, safeguarding the nonprofit's financial assets. They're also tasked with ensuring that financial policies and records and reports are accurately kept and maintained, and to make sure that there are financial statements and financial projections used to help the board make informed decisions. Then a little bit beyond that, they're also needing to make sure that inside of the organization there are internal controls processes, maybe you could call them checks and balances for all financial transactions that happen. And that's what makes sure that the financial accounts and records and all the documentation are accurate. So in addition to maintaining or managing the organization's finances or overseeing them, the treasurer has an important part in a leadership role related to the budget. Now, this looks different depending on the size of the nonprofit, whether or not they have a finance committee or how many accounting financial staff they may have. But the treasurer really is the one who at the board level, everyone is probably looking to to feel comfortable. Like, do you think this budget's OK? So the treasurer really needs to know that in that peer group, they have a tremendous amount of, of um, formal and informal responsibility. Another key role of the treasurer is going to be to ensure that the organization is complied with laws and regulations that govern nonprofits. So they're asking all the questions to see that the nonprofit is in compliance with federal, state, and many reporting and filing requirements that are necessary to maintain your tax exempt status. I should add to that all related payroll and tax compliances. Um, they're also making sure that those things have been managed well. So in conclusion, the treasurer's role, it's an essential one, but it's not always the exact same duties. It's the oversight of these things that is what is key today. And it can happen that a nonprofit that's really small has a treasurer who's actually doing some of those things. And a nonprofit that's very large has a treasurer that's doing nothing. That's not good. So you want to make sure that if you're serving in the treasurer role, that you're aware of, involved in, and have knowledge of all the things we've discussed here today. It's a good start. It's not a full list, but I hope it'll get you going in the right direction. Make sure you've got a capable and experienced person in the treasurer seat on your organization. If this has been helpful to you, then I want to point you to something that I offer for free on my website. You can go to my website or to this shortcut, TeresaClark.com forward slash checklist. And I have a financial task checklist there that can help you to automate and simplify the, the financial tasks that happen every week, every month, and every year. <music>